you remember the first renovation project you did with these these hands and how proud you were of that project and and comparing it to the projects you do today the first one was not so good even though you were so proud of it right and each year we keep improving our skills the question that i have today is why are we so reluctant to sell our business because if we if we learned our skills by trial and error and we designed our business by trial and error, does not that mean we made a lot of mistakes along the way? Does not mean if we sold our company and we designed another one, the second one's gonna be better, the third one's gonna be even better, and the fourth one's gonna be even better than that. Then how do you explain the fact that you don't wanna sell your, your original business? If you made a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of flaws and a lot of bad habits and a lot of things that you probably would not do on the second business, why not just sell it? And I've, I've post, posed this question a number of times on Facebook groups saying 99% of the people, oh, no, 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 it's my cash cow. It's my golden goose. It's, you know, I would never do that. But yet we acknowledge that there's a lot of flaws in the way we run our business. We're not as efficient as we should be. We don't have the best employees. We don't have the best marketing. We don't have you know the best of anything. We don't use leverage tools. We don't, we don't use any of that. The reason why I brought, brought up this question today is uh, we just brought in an offer um, to a client for their construction renovation company for $9 million, $9 million. And yet a lot of the people in Facebook groups, uh, they talk about winding down their business or when they retire, they they just close down their business. You know, they don't even try to sell it. To me, that's kind of ludicrous. That's like saying, okay, I don't need my house anymore. So I'm just gonna get some gasoline and some matches and just torch it, right? You wouldn't consider doing that to your house. So why are you doing that to your business? Why is there no exit strategy, right? When we build a house, we, we, we plan to sell it or rent it or, or rent to own programs or whatever it is. So we always have a plan as to what we're doing with our real estate or our construction projects that we do. There's always a goal, right? Why is there no goal for the business itself? I mean, if you've been working for the past 10, 20, 40 years, in my case, more than 40 years, why isn't there an exit strategy? Why not design the business so it, you can get an extra 10 million, 15 million, 1 million, right? Why is there no exit strategy? Why are we not planning? We know that we live and die. Human beings don't live forever. We know that, right? We are mortal. We die right? Why not create the structure so, you know, someone in our family inherits the business or or sell the business to employees or sell it to a stranger under the entrepreneur program? Imagine how many immigrants are in different countries around the world that are stuck behind two or three years or five year waiting list just to immigrate to Canada or USA. If they buy a business like yours, they get to the front of the line because now they're creating employment for Canadians or Americans, right? There are more buyers for businesses than there are sellers. Why isn't this message getting across? Why, why, why isn't this a conversation that we have every day? Why aren't we selling our businesses? And besides, when you sell your business, you get rid of the the burnout there's a lot of burnout just listen to some of the comments on on facebook groups there is a lot of burnout so sell the business get rid of the burnout start something fresh with proper branding differentiation systems procedures and all the business tools get to you know 5 million 10 million 20 million dollars in 3 to 7 years instead of 20 to 40 like google statistic shows and, and design something that works for you. Hire a general manager, hire, hire you know, someone for sales, hire uh, a marketing department, you know, do it properly. And now you have, you know, a couple of million dollars to, for selling your original business to design one properly that you can run from your cottage or your boat.
why aren't we interested in getting a massive payout for our businesses? Would love to hear your, I'm not going to say excuses, but I would like to hear your fears or your concerns. You know, are you concerned that if you sell your business, now you have no income, nothing to do? No, that's not the case. You can immediately sell your business or while you're selling your business, because a business generally takes 12 to 18 months to sell. While you're in the process of selling your business, we could be read uh, or designing a proper business from scratch, the proper business blueprint. We do uh, organic marketing one to five years before launching the new business, right? So you can do both at the same time. Entrepreneurs are notorious for doing one thing at a time and 20 or 40 years go by because we're doing one thing at a time. You've got to do 30 things at a time. And that's where delegation comes in. That's where your employees, well-trained employees come in. Again, would love to hear your questions, comments below. Why are you afraid to sell your business? Why are you afraid to get a, you know, a massive payday? Let's talk soon. Take care.